So, uh, Brian Eastwood Custom number 37, made in 1977. Neck from a floor of a sawmill, I believe, or a mill. Yeah, probably Derbyshire. She's back up, oh, maybe Yorkshire. And um, the body, I still don't know what wood that is. But um, he told me 20 years ago that it was felled 150 years ago. So that makes it 170 years old. Piece of wood. Um, so that's um, nice wiring, mostly, by Graham Noden in um, Denmark Street. And the bits that are nasty where I've still yet since replaced something. Um, so those are only code, the middle and neck pickups. But I'm not sure what. Um, I believe they're Fender pickups. I don't even know for sure. They were in the guitar when I got it. I think they're the ones he put in. But they likely are Fender. That bridge has uh, quite narrow spacing. I believe it's... Um, what is it? 5125 so that's like Fender Modern and that's strange because the saddles are like on a 70s pre CBS strap see they're halfway between the bent steel and the block they're shaped like the bent steel but they're actually blocked see that anyway this is the thing the cavity is so large it's like someone put some massive fat pickups in here at one point and look these bores they're like routes and bores there Mm, they go very far. There's a point here where the screws coming through from the tremolo cavity. I have to do some funny business with that because um, there's just not enough wood there. But the tone is great, and um, a lot of people have commented, especially people repairing, um, on the good ring it has. The wood is incredible. So the only thing is, it's a single ply scratch plate because the neck lies quite flush with the body, so it won't take a three ply or I won't take a thick scratch plate um, and it's pretty thin and I don't think I can get three ply this that thin so it gives a bit around here it gives where it you know if I'm pressing it I don't like that it feels silly so I want to support it there but I don't want to start blocking out with a lot of wood so I'm going to try finding something that I can bend there just enough to support the scratch plate so it doesn't give not taking away from the Semi hollow nature of the thing, the guitar. Okay, so we're going to do that. <laughs> 